Hello everybody. In this video I will explain how to create an orthographic view from a 3D part. Um, as you can see here is an example of a 3D part. You draw it in AutoCAD and you finish drawing according to your own dimensions and then you want uh, the orthographic views uh, like top, uh, top view, front view and the right view with dimensions so you can send it to, to the manufacturer uh, to build it. Now I will show you a very um, easy way to do it. First of all you need to make sure you are in the modeling uh, palette type. So click on modeling. Here is the modeling and then there is an order for again it's in the bottom bottom more. Here is this one flash shot. Now before you take this flash shot order you need to make sure you are at the right view so this is um, a corner view you go to the top view here is the top view and then we click flash shot now there is the flash shot window the flash shot window is very important for you to uh, here is the foreground lines, which is mean the line that you're gonna see clear uh, on the part. Uh, you can leave this one white and continuous. And here's the obscured line, which is mean the hidden line. Uh, either you don't want to show it, which is mean all the hidden lines will be away, or if you want to show it, you need to put it in a hidden format, the dot, the dotted one, or maybe ch change color. So I will put it in blue and I want it to be dotted, there is no dot, so I will go to manage load I will choose hidden I will choose a fine one add and then choose again and then OK and then create now here they will tell you choose a point just choose anywhere um, the scale factor just one don't change otherwise they're gonna change in size X and also the Y factor similar to X1 and then no rotation another enter and here you have the top part as you can see here this is the blue line are the hidden uh, are the hidden one which they are this hole so this is the top view of our part now if you want a front view we just do the same. We click on the cube for the front view. But before that, if you just want this one to be gone, I click on a new layer, top, and I click on the top view, right click, move to layer, choose top, and then make the top uh, disappear. Uh, just uh, turn it off and then you can turn it on again when you are gonna uh, put everything together so we turn it off at this moment now we change to the view uh, front view and we do the same we click on the flash shot these are saved from last time I'll just tell them create I will choose a normal point factor scale 1 x 1 and no rotation and that will be the front view if you want to see it just click on top and here is the front view uh, we choose it uh, we, we create a new layer we name it front right click move to layer front ok and we turn it off now we go back again, sorry, we go back again to the corner view and we choose right or left. Let's say this is left. Again, flash shot, same settings, create, choose a place. Don't change the scaling factor for X and Y and of course you don't want any rotation. And click on top view so you can see how it's looked like. And that's how it's looked like. So here we create a new layer. We name it left. And we move this part to it. Move to layer. Left. 
Okay. Now we bring back the front and we bring back the top. Uh, of course, they are messy. You can uh, arrange them again. Now, for 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 me, it will be like um, I don't need this one. I don't need the three D object anymore. Yeah, this is the three D object. I don't want it anymore. I will just go again to the top view, and I will put these parts together. This is. I will choose the front one. Move. Of course, you can move it way much more accurately than this. And here again. Move. This one needs to be rotate or oh, no and uh, this one actually here move here or you can just rotate it on the top one now uh, for dimension which is also very easy you choose the way you want dimensions go liner and then you can choose which dimensions you want the dimensions here are really small so you go to format dimension style keep it on standard click on the setting here and go to modify on this tabs here click on text and here you can choose for example 0 0.8 or 0 0.8 and click OK OK well, it's a little bit big. We change, we change it again. Dimension style. Modify. Let's put it one. Okay. Okay, this is a clear. And again, dimension. Linear. I want this part here. Of course, you can change whatever you want and choose the dimensions you want. Dimensions. Or the the diameter of the circle, choose the circle, and then you choose the center, and it will keep the diameter. And then you can print it and save it as a PDF file, and that will be how to create orthographic views from a 3D uh, for a 3D part. Thanks for watching.